At the outset, I thank the Almighty and my parents for this uh, wonderful day. On behalf of Premier Futsal League, it is my pleasure and honor to welcome Mr. Arya, who has got a lot of passion for football, for this press meet. And of course, this day is for St. Angelo's VNCT Ventures. Mr. Rajesh, Mr. Nagu Sidambaram, and Mrs. Geeta Sidambaram. I must tell something about Mr. Rajesh. Very energetic gentleman. And he always gathers the young entrepreneurs all over India and to interview them and to give motivation to the youngsters who are all there in India. He's a great gentleman. It is always said that success follows those who celebrate the success of others. I must say that St. An Angelo's VNCT Ventures have been very successful in promoting affordable luxury white villas. And they are all over India, particularly Chennai, Coimbatore, Madurai, Hyderabad, Mumbai, and Dubai and many more places to come. Of course, this, this is in line with the vision of our Honorable Prime Minister, Mr. Narendra Modi. Of course, our Prime, Minister's, Prime Minister has brought a lot of concepts to India, like Make in India, Skill India, Digital India, Startup India, and many more concepts are expected to come. They are not slogans alone. They are finding solutions for that. And same way, he has got a concept of giving affordable, comfortable, and beautiful houses and shelter to the masses. And this is what St. Angelo's VNCT Ventures are promoting. And Mr. Rajesh himself is a solid football player. Of course, like me, I was also a football player. Otherwise, he cannot get that kind of an interest. Because in the first season, we had our own challenges. But I always believe if you don't have struggle, you will not get into the right direction. And I, I always say that once you overcome the challenges, our life becomes meaningful. And that is what happening now. We are getting into the second season. The first season was very successful, more than expected level. The response was good. The media, this TV response alone, more than 60 million. And of course, the Facebook and other media is more than 700 million, which we never expected. It really opened up the eyes of many people in India. It is because the nature of the game is more suitable for our country, particularly for our young talents. Giggs was mentioning to me that Indians are intelligent, more than the stamina they have. And it is an indoor game, fastest game, skillful game, intelligent game, and also 20, 20 minutes and 10 minutes break. And more, more and more in, in, uh, youngsters are interested in this game. And you should also understand, the best players of the world, soccer players, has come, have come from this have come from this uh, futsal, particularly, you know, Mr. Pile, even now, I mean, Figo, then uh, uh, Mr. Ronald, you know, so many people, so many soccer players have come from futsal. And uh, I must say here, as the chairman of Premier League, our global chairman is Mr. Figo and Mr. Falcao, 
He is also called the uh, PLA of uh, Futsal. He is our vice chairman and uh, vice president. And we have eminent team in this group. And we should thank all of you, particularly, you know, the last season, we were very successful. It is because of the media. It is because of the press. They so much appreciated the game. And many people have started coming to the sta uh, stadium. So we are thankful to you. Understanding the potentiality of this game, Dubai Sports Council have completely sponsored this Premier League semifinals and finals to be conducted in Dubai by 30th of uh, September and 1st of October. We welcome you all for this fantastic game. And it's a very unique concept this Premier Futsal League have brought in. Nowhere in the world you see that the legends of the football playing alongside the international futsal players and also the young talents from India. My wife and the team, Mr. Dinesh, Nithya, Abhinandan, have been making a lot of efforts to conduct a boot camp all over India to choose the young talents, train them, and put them alongside this football legends and also the international futsal players. This, this is the biggest ever opportunity being given to our youngsters. This is again in line with our Prime Minister's concept of Skill India. He wants to develop skill everywhere. And so much of importance is being given now to the sports. Recently, they have even announced it, sports is going to be compulsory in school. It's going to be a compulsory syllabus in the school. And they are aiming more medals, Olympic medals, in 2028. For that, a lot of efforts are being taken. In this respect, I must tell that Premier Futsal League is totally committed for the second season. We are trying our level best to improve in every area, in every aspect, compared to the first season. And with all your cooperation, of course, my colleagues, my friends, all of them are here. With all your cooperation and support, we will ensure that Premier Football League's second season is highly successful. It is always said that success is not measured. Success is one. It is not measured by others. It is measured only by our heart and soul and mind. And Premier Futsal League is not only a business for us. It is mainly our passion. We, we have brought this into India to bring in the new concept, to develop more players for soccer. And you will see it in future. Thank you very much. Thank you.